Welcome to Iron Man Raid Specialist, featuring Juan Man Raid. The goal of this series is to acquire gear and skills to perfect a Raids 1 Specialist account. Every 75 Raids I can go for 1 of 19 upgrades necessary to build this account, ending at 1500 Soul Raids. Enjoy episode 22. Just in case, I'm gonna eat up an extra dose. Oh, purple! Let's go! Let's go, man. I still don't have primordials, but I need to take a break from service. That guy was melting my goddamn brain, dude. Yes! <sighs> awesome, bro. We just got our, our purple. It's been a little bit. Actually, no, it hasn't. D-Claws was like, honestly, eight rays ago, so. Woo! Alright, let's open this up. Sorry for the wait, guys. Here we go. Oh, a twisted buckler! Goddamn placeholders, bro. I keep getting them. Alright, this is gonna be my setup to start off here. Uh, pretty minimalist gear, just cause I wanna bring as much supplies as I can. Since I don't have the diaries, I wanna get as many kills as possible in one trip. Warhammer for the spec. Main hand hosta for crush, blowpipe for range phase. I'm not gonna bring uh, assembler, just cause I'll, I'll pick up the darts to save inventory space. Also brought Venge, I think it'll be worth it. How I'm gonna get there is gonna be uh, pretty simple. I'm gonna actually use the fairing. It'll also double as a teleport back to a bank. So yeah, I'll just use the fairing to get there. Oh, I forgot to mention, of course, pre-potted everything. Oh, more food. Yo, potato cactus though. Yeah, that's gonna be good passive uh, herb XP to 90 in the future. Oh shit, I just got the Kelfoy Queen head. I don't, don't think I'm gonna do the Elite Diaries for her, for this account, but whatever. Oh, there we go. Winds of Zami. First drop, 15 kills in. Hell yeah, dude. Oof. Alright, just need a few more of those and uh, I'll be, I'll be all set. This is going to sound very unintuitive, but I'm actually going to ditch the Hosta because I'm just going to kill the Kelfi Queen first one with the Warhammer with a specific strategy. So my goal is to kill as many Kelfi Queens as possible in a given trip. In order to do that, the Warhammer has the better potential. Here's how. So basically, the Warhammer is 5 ticks, whereas Kelfi Queen attacks 4 ticks, right? So if I were to just attack her head on and not do anything else, she would do more attacks than me if I used the Warhammer. However, I can actually make it so that I can attack with the Warhammer just as many times as she attacks me. You can apply this concept to a lot of different bosses. So what I do is I hit the boss with a Warhammer and then I go under the boss. I wait for about a second, two takes, and then I attack the boss again. And then I go under for a second and then attack the boss again. What happens is is that when I'm going under the boss, she just can't attack me. So I'm just chilling and waiting for my cooldown for the Warhammer to almost go off. So that way, I can hit her the same amount of times as she hits me. And the Warhammer is more accurate and hits harder. So every hit that I do is worth more. So that way, I can increase the chances of me doing like 3 to 4, maybe even 5 kills a trip. Hey, Bernard's. That's really good for Cerberus. Oh, I'll save the Venge for next kill if I can try to preserve. Yes, there it is. Wines of Zamrak. Let's go. Second one. It only took 57 kills. Jeez. Damn, might be going for like a. Oh, Kelfi Queen head again. Jeez. That's my third one. Oh, D Chain. What? <laughs> Hell yeah, dude. Oh my goodness, man. One D chain and uh, two wine drops, dude. Hell yeah. Give me that. Alright, magic seed. Wow. But unfortunately, I think we're gonna have to bail from uh, Kelfi Queen. I was hoping by 100 kills I would have gotten all the wines I needed. But unfortunately, I only managed to get three wines. And I should have gotten eight or something on average in that many kills. So it's a little disappointing. And the potato cactus was really... Really nice too. I got a ton of potato cactus at least. Yeah, like about eight drops of them. So that's good enough. 300 Zami wines, a few from Serb. That's gonna last a while. Dangerously low points. Hellhounds, yes! Oh my god. Finally, the third Hellhound task, dude. My Slayer points took a big fat slap to the face. Oh my god. 731 points left. Yo, that's uh. If I don't get the Primordial Crystals this task, then 
what that means is. Oh, I just hit 92 attack. Hell yeah. Oh, 7200. Ooh, 92 Slayer! Right, right, nice. Got a Slayer level 2. Gained a few levels so far, doing service. Oh my god, 4339. Holy crap, that was amazing. Oh, hell yeah, 80 woodcutting, dude. That shit's probably gonna speed up my ice team into unbelievable levels. It's crazy. Alright. Of course, the weekly... Runecrafting gains at Tears of Cupcakes. Goddamn launch pouches, that's dope. Really gonna help me when I make cosmic runes, I guess. But, uh, 10 more levels that I would want for the ability to make the, uh, service boots, though. So, it's really nice. Woof! Watch that one prayer point, dude. Yeah, made me use my trump card. Oh my god, so unlucky. I just got 6 hard. Wait, wait, am I still in the game? Someone else is fighting that! Why? Man, that sucked. I, I just keep getting my butt cheeks clapped. Oh, nice. I just recently hit 500 KC. It's been a fairly enjoyable grind, although my uh, prayer pots are definitely not enjoying this. Luckily, I've, I've been doing a lot of uh, farming, so... I still have some Renars. Quite a bit of Snap Dragons, uh, also in terms of Earth Department. 700 Renars, 700 Snapdragons, so I can keep going. If you guys did not know, your woodcutting level actually impacts how fast you can cut the meat tree for a Mutadata room. And when I first started raiding on here, I was like 60 or so woodcutting, and it was miserably slow. But now that I've gone all the way to 80 woodcutting, you know, for Ice Team in this room, the meat tree is definitely noticeably faster this is so crucial because you don't want to take forever to cut this tree you're gonna take a lot of damage you know the longer it takes so yeah the woodcutting level is actually a pretty big deal now i would definitely consider getting uh up to 99 woodcutting honestly for a race if you got time to spare you know afk hmm does this work oh it does hell yeah that's dope Oh, yes, yeah, so I didn't even have to fight anybody this this time. It's so weird. Sometimes you just don't even fight anybody. Oh, 88 farming from killing a Spory. I didn't even see the XP drop. I never even noticed. Oh, that is so clutch. I just got a Superior and Abyssal Whip all at the same time at the end of my task. Unbelievable. That was, that was actually wild. Holy crap. Damn, you get 90 Slayer points for completing 10 Task Streak at Kona? Wow. I think it was 60, right, at Dordel? Or 75, so yeah, this is a significant increase in in Slayer points. Okay, show me the money. Dark Totem base? Cool. It's nice. You don't have to actually make a complete totem anymore to get new ones, so... See now? Yes! Yes! Oh my god, 189 Hellhounds. Oh. And it's a big one too. It is a big catch. So with the slaughter bracelet, I'm looking at like another 60 kills, man. 200 plus. Oh, I just healed the 40 with Guthans. Beautiful. Slash. Oh, oh, what the f <laughs> Oh my god! Yo, holy shit! Oh god, I'm leaving. I'm leaving. I'm leaving. Oh. What? Oh my god. Holy shit. I just realized I punched it right before the kill by accident. I just got myself my first pet. Like, real pet, you know? Like, hell yeah, brother. Oh my god, dude. Okay, that's dope. I'm gonna use this. I'm gonna. That's my first pet. It's my first dog on this account. So I'm gonna bring this boy with me everywhere that's safe, you know? So, uh, yeah, probably at raids and, and whatnot. Hell yeah, dude. Secure that shit. Ooh, yes. Let me double check just in case. Because I don't want to, like, die with it and, you know, never have it again. So, that's insane, dude. That is insane. Alright, I guess I'm, I'm probably going to go hella dry for this. Primordials, man. I just yoinked all the RNG. Ha 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 ha. Oh, oh my god, please. Finish it off. Yes. DDS coming in clutch, boys. Save by the DDS. Alright, we got it. Jeez. Ooh.
Oh, smoldering stone. No, I saw red. I saw red. I saw red, man. I so clutched that kill for another smoldering stone. Dang. All right, I got 39 uh, key master teleport scrolls. Yeah, we're gonna start using these teleports. I mean, otherwise, if I don't use it, they're just kind of like sitting there in the bank and, you know, it's somewhat of a waste, so. Let's start using it then. Ah, it works. Oh, okay. Alright. There we go, perfect. Alright, cool. I only lose like 200 points, so I don't really care. Let me see if I can get there on time. Oh! Ah, how? Oh, oh my god, I didn't think that would make that anymore. Oh shit, I just got a... Aw, oh, I just got a defense level. Ooh, 73 agility. Yeah, hell yeah. Yes, nice. Just got 83 herbler. Um, yeah, 90 herbler goal is pretty dope. As it is one of the upgrades I can get out of the 19. That's Slayer related. Oh shit, 73 Hunter. Ooh, nice. Black Chain Chompas might go for those in the future. Don't know. Still quite a ways to go. What's next? Uh, nothing's next. We got a while before. Uh... Holy shit, dude. My my Slaughter Bracelet. It just procs four times in a row. Oh my god. <laughs> Dang, boys. Alright, well, I'm at 762 KC now. But uh, yeah, looks like we need to get another task. Yes! Let's go! Nice. This Hellhound task came by really fast. See ya! Oh my god, no! The Jar of Souls! Shit! Boys! Ah, oh, what? Man, I actually do have everything but the Primordials. No! Oh my god, Smoldering Stone! <laughs> Ah, wow, guys. Holy shit. Holy shit, man. I have three of these mother truckers, dude. Yes, over a thousand. Exactly what I wanted. Alright, good stuff. Look at my herbler stack here. We got 961. Uh, I'm so glad I decided to stock up on Renards before. I knew one of these grinds was going to end up killing me on prayer pots. Oh, just hit 93 attack. Do I get a combat level? Oh, I guess I've had 180 combat for a while. Oh man, dang it! Oh, that sucks. Eighty-five. We're cutting. Anything here? I do. There's nothing. Eighty-five. Wow, disappointing. Oh my god, dude! Damn it! Hellhound's in the wrong place. Oh man, that's so lame, man. Coal room slayer dungeon. Yo, why couldn't I have been Tavily dungeon, dude? Alright, apparently there are hellhounds in this dungeon. I've never even been to the third floor, first time. Ah, see, there's fire giants over here as well, yikes. So many spots for fire giants. Well, that's cool. Today I learned, so. Yes! Let's go, man. Okay, we got it, we got it, let's go. 174. Alright, time to go for a thousand KC, dude. We got it. I have a feeling this is going to be the task, I swear. This is going to be the task. Really? Bro, how do you not die? <laughs> oh my god! Oh my god! Yo, I got it! Yo, I got it, I got it, I got it, I got it. Oh my god, dude. Holy shit, I'm fucking out. Wait, 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 wait. Get the fuck out of here, dude. See you later, service. Right before a thousand KC. Holy shit. <laughs> Let's go! Oh, Jesus. Yes, bro. After one eternal, three smolderings, and, um, and a pagasian, man. And two jar of salts. How could I forget about that, dude? Large pouch. Got it, boys. Easy. Okay. Alright, that should definitely help a lot. I opted to actually just do astral room crafting for most of the grind, just cause I need a astrals anyways for like future crafting related stuff. And uh, this XP rate is actually pretty competitive to Astral's anyways. I'm getting about 32 to 33k an hour, which is apparently CMI you can get around the same. Just got 57 runecrafting levels, then when a boy y'all with, you know, all these runecrafting level montages, 
but I'm gonna move on to ZMI now because I'm pretty sure it's a bit faster rate so I just want to get done quicker now I have a lot of astrals as you can see 9,000 which should last me a long time for a lot of things 59 rune crafting yay double cosmics that's actually pretty good um, that might come in handy. I'm kind of lazy buying cosmic runes, but the XP power here is uh, significantly better now, at least. It does scale, I believe, with your rune crafting level a bit. So at around the mid 50s, high 50s, I am getting about 35k an hour. So that's not bad at all. It's like 5,000 XP an hour higher than a uh, the astral rune crafting. So solid. Final, final trip. This, I think, might be the last room crafting level that I really am going for in terms of, you know, this series goals. So here it is, 60 room crafting. Now I can infuse Eternifications and Primordial Boots. Yes, I brought it with me, so we can just do this right away. All right. Yes, yes, yes. I don't need the warning. I just want to get my Primordials, baby. Ah, uh, that is that is very nice. The two accuracy, you know, and the extra strength bonus. Beautiful, man. I don't have to wear the, those clown-looking freaking dragon boots no more. Very nice. Alright, that's that's totally worthwhile, man. Now we can rock this bad boy over at raid. It's gonna help a lot with Tecton, that's for sure. The accuracy bonus is gonna be nice. Landing those Warhammer Spikes. Oh yeah, baby. 